All right, what's up, everyone? Welcome back. And this video is our third influence lines example problem for statically determinate beams. And in this case, I'm given a pin and roller support at A and B, a hinge at point C along the length of the beam, and another roller at D. This is statically determinate. And what I want to do is find the influence line for the vertical reaction at point B, uh, the influence line for the internal shear and moment at point E. Notice point E here is not a hinge, it's just a point along the length of the beam. We're going to do this using the Mueller-Breslau principle, which really is just saying that if you take the action of a structure, replace it with the unit displacement or rotation that deflected shape is the influence line. And the approach that we're going to do is as follows. Draw the undeformed structure with the action removed, apply that unit displacement, placement or rotation and then draw the deflective shape. I like to calculate values using geometry of the structure. You could always calculate a value by applying a unit concentrated force at the location you want that influence line value. Then I like to redraw the influence line on a nice clean plot or graph. The first thing I like to do is draw in the reaction. The first thing we want to do is draw the influence line for the vertical reaction at B. And in order to do that, I'm going to follow the process. I'm going to draw the undeflected shape with the vertical reaction removed. So I've gotten rid of the action. And the way I drew BY here, that's going to tell me in which direction I need to apply the unit displacement. So the next thing I want to do is apply the unit displacement and draw the deflected shape. And because I have a statically determinate beam and I removed a reaction so it's unstable now, all my beam segments are going to go through a series of rigid body motions or rigid body displacements. So if I apply a unit displacement, which means that I'm going to move point B up a, unit, a distance of 1, this is what my deflected shape will look like. A, B, C is just one continuous segment. I can't have it deform or anything. So I push up here, which makes everything go up. And I want to find these distances. You know, I want to find this distance here. And I think that's all I need. And the way I can find this, I'll call this Y. The way I can find Y is based on the geometry. And in particular, I can use similar triangles, which tells me that Y over 17.5 meters is equal to 1 over 10 meters and that tells me that y is equal to 1.75 and I could do the same thing for at this distance here which is again I could go through and I can apply this process and this would just tell me that this value right here is 0 0.4 based on similar triangles and Mueller-Breslau says that this deflected shape is the influence line for the vertical reaction at B for a unit concentrated force traveling along this the length of this beam. And now we want to just make it nice and clean and redraw this on a graph. So here's my position axis along the length of the beam with my origin at the support at point A. This well, vertical axis is the influence line value or the factor really for the vertical reaction BY. And there's my final plot for the influence line for the vertical reaction at B. So let's go ahead now and do the influence line for the internal shear and then the internal moment at point E.